all right guys welcome back so today we're gonna to be playing a horror game it's been a couple of months since we last played a horror game or even an indie horror game and well today right here for the very first time on the channel we have an all-new game called fears to fathom so i've been looking into this game and i found it to be extremely interesting first and foremost it's an episodic sort of horror game so there are multiple episodes and right now there is only one episode and i'll show you guys here real quick we go to episodes and well we have home alone which is the first episode that we're going to be playing today and there appears to be four more that will be coming into the near future as you can see it's got that 90s vhs type which i've never played a horror game like that so i'm really interested to see how it actually feels i've seen videos on games like this but i've never really played one myself so I'm really excited. It's a very short game considering it's an episode. So the episodes are about 15, 20 minutes, maybe even shorter. So I don't know how I'm going to do, but I wanted to give it a try. I know you guys enjoy a lot when we play horror games. And uh, again, it's been quite some time. So first and foremost, Home Alone. It says Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils or unveils, unveils, unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You're playing episode one. More episodes are coming. Wait, so you're telling me that these are actual stories? So it says, if you have a story to share, send it to fears to fathom stories at gmail.com. That actually sucks. I mean, the fact that these are, this is based on real true life possible events, that makes it even creepier. That's, that's not good. Okay. Well, have you guys ever been home alone as a kid and been scared shitless that maybe somebody's coming into the house, breaking into the house and yeah, that's I think that's a fear that we all grow up with, especially if during your childhood, sometimes you stay home alone and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's that's not really nothing to play with. But anyways, thank you guys for being here. I'm not going to talk any longer. I'm really, really excited to finally come back and play another indie horror game. So here's to fathom episode one home alone, July 12. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. So this is based on true stories, it looks like. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. Okay. I guess I will just start. So let's begin, shall we? This is the little like music background music that's creeping me out it was the middle of the summer my parents had left for that weekend due to uh, a work trip which meant i was all by myself for that weekend also i feel like i do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time i would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day though i did plan on fixing that Again, this is a game about us being home alone and some dude trying to intrude and impede, no, intrude our home, break into our home, and I don't know what's going to happen. Kill us, maybe? I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. <laughs> okay. Space to get up. This is, this is really interesting. So we're here in our room. Looks nice. Very, very spacious. A lot of uh, room for exercise, squats, lunges, all that good stuff. Some uh, frames up that I can almost guarantee you my mother put here. I will turn that off because that is extremely creepy. So I like the graphics. It's not like super HD, but it's got like that vintage 90s vibe, you know, which is really interesting. Um, okay, the neighborhood looks to be a good neighborhood. I don't know. Yeah, this is a good neighborhood. Or so it seems, right? So, hmm. I did have homework to do that night, but I was too hungry to do it right away. Or to do it right after waking up, that is. Alright, so I'm assuming whenever I have something in the middle cursor, uh, the middle cursor, that means that I can interact with it. Like right there, you see the little dot? That means I can. Oh. Hello? What the fuck was oh oh whoa, whoa oh this is cool 
Okay, so mom. Wait. Okay, let's go up. So 9 a.m. and 9, 8 p.m. Okay, cool. So let's start at the beginning. So it says, wait. When are you guys going to be back? Remember, our parents are on a trip. Dad and I are going to be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope you get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night? For homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check its, uh, its stem on the door before, before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mom. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. But why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. Like, bro, 14, you're not really that old. Trust me, when you're 14, uh, fourth thing. When you're fourth thing, when you're 14, you think you're you're old, but you're really not, okay? I'm sorry, but it's the truth. We've all been there. Think I'm gonna take a little nap. Probably gonna order some pizza. No, no need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Okay, so we'll go to Mason, go all the way up. Yo, yo. Are you gonna come, uh, are you coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah, I heard Josh is coming too. What about you? I don't know. What's wrong? Uh, weren't you gonna see her yesterday? So we say she didn't show up. It's like, I don't even matter to her. You matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then you're, <laughs> you're energy. I guess I'm energy then. Uh, how's chem? Yeah, crap. I totally forgot. Probably gonna do it tonight. That all same. My parents are out for the night. Wanna come over? Uh, we can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. Okay, uh, car Josh too. I can't promise, dude. Uh, I may have plans with Nats. Okay. So it looks like we have some sort of on and off relationship with some sort of girl. Um, and these are the blinds that my mother's been speaking about that I just gotta approach them and they instantly go back down. Okay, let's, let's check everything here. I'm gonna check the top floor as best as I can. What is this? Oh, hi. Okay, this is... What is this, my parents' room? It seems like this is my parents' room. Dude, the graphics, again, they're not like super crazy realistic, but there's something about it. Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, uh So you're gonna tell me that we, we have a guy down in our porch My dog which I think it's my dog it's barking and then he sees me pull out the window And he leaves completely out of my house He's no longer in my property that seems a little sketchy It's still 803 dude what are you talking about it's been like seven minutes Okay, so let's go back downstairs. We gotta follow the rules. Mom said she wants me to eat the lasagna in the fridge. I'm gonna go straight to the fridge. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's see the lasagna. That's beef. Some water. Cool. Okay, so G to throw. Food was cold. Alright, so maybe put it in the. Food was heating up. Okay. Is that it? How about this? No? All right. It's a loud ass fridge, man. All right. So, again, I'm going to take my, uh, my time one step at a time here. I don't even want to try and interact with these doors. What the hell? Is that the oven? Yes, that's the oven. I don't want to try and interact with the doors just in case I go outside. Oh, what the fuck? Food was nice and hot. I liked, uh, I liked watching TV while I ate. I didn't have any dishes to wash. Oh, bro, that's so creepy. Like, the blinds just going up automatically. I mean, totally. Totally got to put the, the, the windows. Got to close those windows, man. All right, so we're going to sit here like a good boy. And I'm going to watch me some TV while I eat this delicious lasagna. Again, this is something that it's possibly even honestly like the game is saying it's a true story I don't know if it is but it might just be I think it really is so 
Uh, hold on, let me turn on the TV then. There we go. Okay, let's go back down. Can I eat the lasagna? I mean, this is... Too I mean, I, I would have put it on a plate, you know, but... Oh, this is kind of freaky right now. I don't... I don't agree with this. This is nonsense. This is... Oh, there's somebody upstairs. Okay, 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 okay. I swear to God, go back in this video. Uh, go back to the video, re rewind it like 20 seconds and look at the stairs. There was somebody going upstairs. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating food. Oh, fuck that, man. Turn that shit off. Oh! Bro, the fucking door is open. Who left the door open? Hello, sir. Listen here, you little punk. I am a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. I remembered I had to finish up my homework. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on. Yo, Oliver, I'm about to get killed, bro. Come here. Uh, we're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up, but uh, you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Fuck. Oliver, bro, I'm about to die. Can I, can I reply back to this asshole? Bro. I'm about, I'm about to, wait, wait. About to die here. Yeah, okay, can I, can I, can I, can I send that? Send, send the damn message. Are you kidding me? I can't even. Send, how do you send the message? All right. All right. Well, apparently I can't send messages. God. Bro, there's somebody in here. Fuck, dude. Lock the damn door, doofus. Okay, hold on. Let me go grab... Let me go grab a knife. Oh, fuck. I have goosebumps. Okay, this, this just went from 0 to 100. Real quick, gangsta. All right? Not zero to 100, no, zero to 100. 100. 100. We gotta act cool, keep cool, 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 calm and collective. The fuck is my door room open? Ah! Uh, Okay, so we replied to Miles. It says, chill out, dude. All good. I'll probably just go back to bed after chem. All right. So we... Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. I'm totally not fucking nervous right now. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do our homework. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We did our cam homework. Totally fine. Everything is fine. It's 12:38 a.m. It's fucking late. 
I probably need to take the massive dump. I got done with her, uh, with the homework for the day in about a few hours. And it's actually pretty bright outside. Yeah, listen here. It's it's probably a good idea. Oh, mom, holy crap. Okay, so it says don't stay up to, uh, too late, you kids. Um, I shouldn't have to hear from Miss Paula this time. I don't think. I don't think. Damn, I wish I could write back. That'd be cool. All right, so should we go downstairs and check? I probably shouldn't go downstairs. This is probably a terrible idea. My parents' room is already opened again. I think I left it open. Is there anybody here? Hello? All right, listen here, you little bastard. It's 12 o'clock in the morning. There is no... no I just got a text message on my phone. On my phone. From my mom. I swear to God. How fucking creepy is this? Look. Look. Hold on. Hold on. It says, Mom. Mom. Oh. You. Whatever. You can't, you can't even see it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Hello? gotta be a really dumb idea to 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 actually be open up the door at 12 o'clock and uh, okay okay fine all right you know what i'm gonna go to bed fuck it i'm gonna follow the instructions here we're just gonna go back to bed leave it to me to get a a game that's technically 15 20 minutes to finish take half an hour to an hour of, uh, with it i would do something like that but you see i'm just quite nervous and i don't like the fact that i cannot shut shut the blinds let me close my damn door we just never know. Is this guy in my closet, dude? What if he's under my bed? What is it? What, what if he's like the real life boogeyman? The boogie monster. Did you guys ever have that fear? Oh. I got up to get some water. Who gets up at 1.16 in the morning? All right. Well, I just want to say it. We're, we're going for it, boys. Fuck it. It is what it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I'm so scared. I swear to you, man. Like, I'm so nervous. I have goosebumps. And, and and the graphics are not even that scary. It's just the atmosphere. This is scarier. Okay. I'm gonna grab some water, but before I grab some water, you know what? Fuck this. Let me grab the water. I'll open up the fridge. Get the water. That's right. Drink some water. That's right. Drink that water. This guy sounds like he's 30. He's not 14. This is that. Man, you're not 14. You're a grown ass man. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the water bottle in case I gotta throw this shit. Okay, let me just check the corners here. I can hear my heartbeat. Totally not good. I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay. What do I got? Relax. Okay, what's going on in here? All right, should we go back to bed? Should I go to my parents' room? Maybe go to my parents' room and check out the balcony or, or the window downstairs? 
Yeah, let's go to my parents' room. It's okay. All right, everything is totally fine. Okay, one more time. Let's try this again. Okay, I, ju I have just replayed everything. We're back here. We're going to drink the water again. We're going to put it back in the fridge. Actually, I'm going to throw that crap on the ground. We're going to go back upstairs. We're going to go to our bedroom. This is exactly where we died or where we failed. Death is just a very ugly word. So we're going to say where we failed. Okay, then. Oh. Mom. What the fuck? Oh. Um, Miles, who's that at the door? Are you there? Oh, shit. What am I, am I supposed to stay down here? Oh, my God. Hello? Oh, fuck this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Paula Semi said uh, he's been creeping around th uh, through the... Okay, we're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your... Uh, don't answer the door no matter what. How do, I, how do I lock the door? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Fuck this. I'm hiding. Okay, we're, we're gonna hide. How do I lock the doors? Oh God, he broke the window. Oh fuck. Okay, so how, wh why would you break my window and then ring my doorbell? No, fuck that, no. Oh God, it's Paula at the
Oh. Nope, 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 nope. I'm hiding. Fuck that. Nope, I am hiding. Not doing it. Oh my God. Oh dude, I would be shitty myself. Are the cops here? The cops arrived. <gasps> okay. That's Paula. Where, where, where's the guy at? Uh, Paula? A game by rail. Ra rail. Okay, so what happened to the guy? Did you guys catch him? Are you guys here to save me? What? What's the big idea here? <laughs> Okay, well, the game's over. Okay. <laughs> a little bit anticlimactic there at, at the end. Um, I don't know if there's like multiple endings or something like that, but I just want to say that the game was actually really, really creepy for what it was. Again, very short. It's an episodic sort of horror game, so there's going to be like four more episodes, which all, in conclusion, ends up being about an hour if you play all of them back to back. But it was, it was pretty interesting, and it was honestly scarier than I expected it to be and honestly maybe perhaps even scarier than it should have been just because it's something so simple and straight to the point but it's always that fear that fear of like when you're a child being home alone and have somebody sneaking into your house that's where it gets you and I thought it was fantastic so let me know what you guys think in the comments it was ha uh, it was happy I was very uh very happy and pleased to be able to play this for you guys I'm, I'm really glad I checked it out I, I approve and I think uh, the, the dev or the devs did a fantastic a fantastic job I'm still kind of scared so I can barely speak um, That was fun. That was really fun. I cannot wait for the next episode We might make it into like a little mini series. There's more episodes coming obviously um, That'll be fun. So thank you guys for watching would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below and I'll catch you later